this is Ryan from Arliss ASMR. So today, I'm gonna to be doing a little uh, spaghetti and meatball movie ramble. Maybe I'll answer, I'll score through and see if I can't um, answer some questions. I'm just gonna look through my channel comments, see if I missed anything, um, if I ran out of topics. But um, today, we're gonna to just be talking about like Deadpool and Wolverine. Someone requested him. Did I talk about that? So I'll talk about it. Now, I know that. So on TikTok, and I'll talk a few, I'll talk about a few things. Oh, shoot. I'll talk about a few things, but. experimental 
treatment. He didn't like the way it looked, so he ghosted you. So to you, where you fell off the face of the earth, that was fine. Um, you die, but then you come back, and then he's a hero for you there. Now he finally wants to settle down, and then you're not cool with that. You want him to keep going. I guess that's like a part of the attraction, but I don't know. It, it, that's, I, it didn't make that much sense to me. Upon my second rewatch. But I can put that like... I can put that in the back of my brain because it's a Deadpool movie, okay? It's meant to make you laugh, not, me not meant to make you think. But I love Hugh Jackman being brought back. I liked the music. I watched it with, with someone. And they were telling me they didn't like the music. And it seemed to me that they didn't really enjoy it. You know, the the Deadpool stuff at all. Which, what I'll say in this video is, if you don't enjoy, like, the Deadpool humor from the first movie, if you're, if you're so, so on the Deadpool, like, you could, you could watch it, but you don't really care that much, you may or may not like 3. If you've watched 1 and 2 and you like them both, watch 3. But I think it's reasonable to think that, like, the first one's okay, the second one's not that great. Upon a rewatch of the second one, I, I it didn't... It's not great. I liked it when I first watched it in theaters. For the second one, you know. I thought it was really funny and engaging and kept my attention the whole time. For the third movie, I really did think it was pretty good. And even on my second rewatch, I thought, now that the second rewatch, I had some, some really busted audio, but, cause I had to, you know, it was, it just barely came out. I didn't go back to the theaters to watch it, but. It's one of those where like, you definitely, if you like Deadpool and you like the, the all of that, then go and watch it. <sighs> but if you're not into it, then I say, don't even worry about it. Like, little lint. Sometimes I sleep on the couch, I get lint in my hair. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, so it's kind of like... go for that you know it's that sort of game but so they bring him after he gets the right role for him where he thinks they have this whole thing about the anchor being I don't really care that much about the plot to be honest with you essentially there's an anchor being and because the anchor being died, he wants to purge the timeline. So he thinks by bringing another Wolverine in, that that saves his timeline from existence. But who's supposed to be the main bad guy? At first, you think he's the main bad guy. His name's Paradox. He's played by the same guy who plays Tom Wamskans in Succession. I don't know the actual actor's name. But the real supervillain is like Cassandra, who is essentially the, like, aborted twin of... Uh, Professor X. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's a weird, like, subplot to bring in, or like a weird plot to bring in, but um, they made some jokes and stuff like that. They had Chris Evans in it as Fantastic Four, and, or the fit, as uh, Johnny Storm from Fantastic Four. But anyways, they get perched to the void, which is where all the trash goes. And what you find is that all of the, essentially all of the Marvel movies, for as many actresses they could get, because I guess they, they kept making jokes in the movie about a budget. So I guess they couldn't get like all of them, obviously. Because actors that were high paid for those roles, they're gonna want millions, right? So that's what makes sense in my head. You don't wanna make like a 300 mil movie. I am actually gonna look up the budget. phone on me but um it would be interesting to look up the budget for that and figure it out but you want it to make a billion if it makes you if you have a 300 mil budget is all i'm saying but anyways but yeah so 
like they had Blade, they had Electra, and they brought in Gambit and Channing Tatum and Channing Tatum as Gambit. And I watched the original X Men, like uh, not like their mo- not their movie, but like their TV show. That one. I remember watching that one, and like as a kid, and I remember Gambit, and that's how I remember Gambit, and I remember Gambit also from the. X Men is it X Men Origins or is it any of the first X Men movies? I think it's Origins. Cause that's the one with Will I Am. As uh, I forget the dude's name. He's like a teleporter. I forget his like comic book name, but I know he's played by Will I Am. I think that's the only other time we see Gambit. But I guess the whole thing is that he like doesn't speak very well so Channing Tatum being a bad actor is like the joke with Channing Tatum it, it was a funny it's a funny idea and if you don't like it you don't like it you know but you know everyone's allowed to have their own different tastes but But, uh, I don't know, 
<clears throat> I don't know if you guys have actually like encountered that or like you you know what I'm talking about. There's like a cohort of people who think that if it's a superhero movie, that it should be like like or that these types of movies in general, maybe not that even that they should be for kids, but that they shouldn't be raunchy at all. That they shouldn't. It's like this puritanical idea of that we shouldn't just have movies that say these dirty words. And it's cool that you don't enjoy that. That's fine and you have your beliefs. But if you don't enjoy that, don't watch rated R movies. <laughs> if you can't handle that and enjoy it, and you waste money on it going to the theater, you know, then if you waste money on going to the theater, then like, you're just paying the people that like, in my opinion, you know, walking out of a movie you've already paid for, the mo you're, you're not getting a refund. So, like, just enjoy the movie, and then you can have a full opinion on it. But, like, my thing is get your money, get your money's worth. But, you should know, it's the third Deadpool movie. How is that your first Deadpool movie that you've watched? If you watched the first Deadpool, and thought that was fine, watch the second Deadpool. I thought that was fine. How do you watch the third Deadpool and be like, nope, that's not okay. That probably was the first movie that they watched of Deadpool or whatever. But it's irritating to me <clears throat> for people to be like, everyone can express their views. Which is why I'm expressing that it's irritating to me. Maybe they don't bring their kid, but they're gonna be like, oh, this movie is not great. 
It's so unchristian. It's a Deadpool movie. When did we ever get in our head that superhero movies were meant to be Christian? We have a Christian society. Like, like, you know, a lot of people in the U.S. are Christian, and a lot of, like, you know, in the past, like, a lot of our media have, like, towed the lines of certain values and, like, traditionalism and whatnot. But we know that, like, you know, Hollywood in general is very progressive. And whether or not you agree with that, with superhero movies are known for being violent, they're known for being raunchy, and they're known for being not kids' movies. I watched a lot of them as a kid, but, you know, they're not movies. And when I say a kid, I don't mean, like, I wasn't three- and five-year-old. Like, Spider-Man I saw, but that's like a PG movie, you know what I mean? A lot of those types of movies, if you said, oh, well, those movies, Ryan, they, historically, they were PG. I'll give it to you that, like, the Hulk, Incredible Hulk, and, like, these other movies, they didn't have heavily, like, suggestive themes other than violence. But a lot of those types of movies I didn't really end up seeing until I was, like, um, a little bit older, like, eight or nine. So, well, not, like, I mean, the X-Men movies, the older X-Men movies, I did watch as a kid. But if you, like, have that wherewithal, I know this, this seems like a little bit of a cognitive dissonance, but, like, if you have that wherewithal as a parent to be like, oh, um, here's, like, something that isn't particularly, um, for kids, or you should just, like, look into it and be like, would I be okay with my kids seeing it? I don't know. Coming from the South in, like, highly conservative area, like, an highly conservative area, that just getting up in arms about it and complaining about it on social media as if that matters and that that's going to make Hollywood stop is always goofy to me it just always is one sec alright I'm back so filter for questions oh someone recently just asked what camera am i using this was on a video where i was using my samsung note 20 5g ultra and that was i'll, I'll respond to him directly 
but it looks like his username is um ntr your brain enter your brain okay enter your brain this is who commented that um are you still watching someone asked am i still watching suits do an update video what do you on what do you think about it so i guess i can briefly talk about that i can do a full video um i knew i had some comments in here that i wanted to address so i'm glad i looked but basically here's the issue with suits okay suits the story is just okay the actors you're really just watching it i'm sorry but you're watching it for rachel at least rachel and um oh what's what's the secretary's name the red-headed secretary i forget but she gets screwed over and brought back or whatever harvey secretary those are attractive women everything else the main lady i guess he's an attractive looking guy i don't know basically it's highly it's highly produced you're, but everyone de delivers their lines like they're the, it's like the first time acting the acting's not great the writing is just okay and it, it's just it's super boring it is i'm sorry but it is super boring the, even the interesting parts are boring you watch it to get some little nuggets of interesting parts but three i got three seasons in guys i got three seasons in and i just couldn't do it anymore i just i didn't like it so it is what it is, right? Um, I do not play Apex. I am not the Apex cheater. For any of you guys who know that. Um, I'll do a live stream here soon. And, um, can I do more? Oh, and someone, this was from two months ago. But someone was asking, or it was a uh, Joan Yad or whatever. Joan UD or Joan Ud 362 who's asking if I could do more story times or movie rambles and um, I think I did do of the movie about upgrade a movie ramble about upgrade or at least I mentioned it at least I think I did or at least I, I um, if I didn't oh well but Upgrade was a decent movie. But yeah, there are some requests that I'm still thinking of how to do. I know the reason I haven't done them is because I don't know if I really have the setup to do those types of videos. I need to like pick days that i'm going to do certain types of videos and i'm going to want to diversify my portfolio so to speak of the type of videos i want to do because i don't want to just be getting fat for views you know what i mean even though i'm not doing that i still just you know i don't want to just only do eating content but i'm scared too because if i like divvy off of that i feel like then there's um a huge co a huge cohort of you are going to leave <laughs> but you know maybe that's for the best uh, but, but once everything gets squared away with my health and everything like that, well, I will um, I'll work in a, consi a more consistent schedule. Right now, I'm kind of just wanting to do once a week, once a week, twice a week, something like that. It's the most I can do is twice a week. And I was trying to do make, see if I could do member content. I just never have the energy for it. And I, I, I'm awake and asleep at such odd hours. And that's not really worth fixing right now. Um, you could say I'm lazy, but it's just not worth fixing right now. And even if I could do the members' content, it's not like what I'm going to try and do is just upload more consistently and make sure that my members get early access to videos. I don't think I'd be able to do like members-only content right now. I'd need to be in much better shape. Um, and then I think I would need a little bit different equipment and stuff like that to do the things that I'd really want to do. Um, reading videos are okay. I'm not really too into that. Well, you know, like, there's other things I can think of. If any of my members have ideas, I'll definitely do one. But, thank you.
you guys for staying members. I still have three members um, on here, so thank you so much for all three of you. And anyone else who wants to become a member, be greatly appreciated, not required, obviously. Thanks to all my donators and my supporters, PayPal contributors, and all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm just extremely thankful to be in the position that I'm in and to have you guys watching my channel. But if there's anything else, you guys have unique ideas you want me to do, you think something you think would be good for the channel, obviously I'm just going to select through and pick ones that I think would actually work and whatnot. But if you guys are into that, or if you guys, you know, definitely keep the suggestions coming and I'll sort through them. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are having a good uh, weekend. I think I'm going to post this on Sunday, yeah. So hope you guys have a, are having a great and had a great weekend. And um, I'm filming this on Friday right now. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.